Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing my August favourite. This month has flown by um, and I've actually been enjoying quite a few of um, my products that I've got. Um, it's either been that I've bought it or haven't used it for a while and it's kind of um, become my favourite product again. Um, but yeah, um, going straight into the video, uh, the first product I will be mentioning is foundations. So I've um, been loving two foundations this month actually. The first one is obviously the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear foundation here. Now my shade is the shade Mont Blanc and I've actually ran out this one so that that shows how hardcore I've been into this and I've actually got to repurchase it so that I have it because this is my go-to foundation and it's my perfect shade and it's it's just amazing. Um, I can always rely on this one. It never ever creases on me. And I've always had a thing with foundations. They always crease on me. And it's, oh, it's infuriating. It doesn't matter what I do, foundations crease on me. They go in my laughter lines and on my forehead. And this one does not do this to me. This one is a true friend. And that's why it is my favorite. Um, and another favourite that I've been actually going into, um, mainly because obviously I've kind of, you know, a little bit running out and I am trying not to use my NARS foundation so much just because I want it to last. So I've kind of been going into my MAC Studio Fix Fluid foundation um, and this one is in the shade NC10. I kind of like, back in the day, obviously everyone Everyone has used this foundation. I mean, every, it was everyone's go-to back in the day. Um, but it was kind of just sitting in my collection. And I just looked at it one day and I thought, I haven't used you for a while. So yeah, I, I picked it up and I tried it and I forgot how much I liked it. It's such a reliable foundation, the MAC Fix Fluid foundation. It's, it's so reliable. You know you can have that full coverage, which I love my full coverage. Um, the shade range at MAC is incredible, um, you're bound to find your correct shade there. It took me a couple tries um, to find my correct shade, but that's just because um, I don't have a MAC shop here. But yeah, so most of the time I'm kind of hunching from swatches and everybody else online and then kind of guessing what my shade is. Um, but I've actually got my shade right this time, as they do have cool tones and warm tones to try and fit everyone. So, that one as well. Um, sticking to face products, I'm, I've actually been loving this powder. Um, I've never picked this powder up before, I've always used my RCMA No Colour Powder, um, because it's, it's quite, um, it's quite affordable. I mean, it's not the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive, it's kind of in that middle, middle range. Um, but this powder cost me a pretty penny. It was completely worth it. So the powder that I'm talking about is the Laura Mercier uh, Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent here. Um, obviously it's quite, quite big and it's lasted me quite well so far. Like I really, I don't want to run out of this. Um, so it's it's become quite a problem that now I need this in my daily routine. So yeah, as soon as I get to the bottom of this, I'll have to buy another one, which isn't gonna look so good on my bank account, but it looked good on my face. So the reason why I have been loving this one, everyone has been going on about this powder, and I was gone like, no, I don't need it. I've I've got my powders. I'm fine. Um, but I. <laughs> I finally like bit the bullet and I bought it and holy crap this is the business seriously this is the business um, I use this to bake under my contour and like, my contour has never looked so clean um, I also use this obviously just to set my face I'm quite dry so it's nice to find a powder that doesn't accentuate my dry patches. Um, so I'm mainly dry on like my chin and my nose. Obviously you still need to set those areas in place. 
um, just because they wear off in those areas as well, which is just annoying. But yeah, this is great for setting my whole face. Um, obviously, I only put like a light layer because I don't, I don't want to look so matte. But this actually doesn't make me feel matte at all. I still feel like I've got moisture in my face. It just, it makes my face like feel really smooth. If that's, if that's what it's supposed to do, I don't know. But, um, but I usually do this as well. I pack it on on my forehead because, like I said, I crease like a mother on my forehead. It, it's just, this has saved my life. Like. I know it sounds really dramatic, like this is so my life. But it, my forehead just looks way better with this powder. I mean, I think I like, I must frown so much. Or like my eyebrows just go crazy, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, this has definitely been my go-to powder at the minute. And if you feel like you need a powder like this and you don't mind spending that little extra, well, I say little. Um, and you don't mind spending that extra, then I would recommend this powder. For blush, actually, I've actually really liked this blush. I'm not a major blush girl. I like my muted blush and like, I'm not too fussy when it comes to blushes. Like I'll just put a little bit on and I'm fine. Like I'm not majorly into like intense blushes or very obvious blushes, um, you might say. Um, but this one that I've actually really been loving, um, this is the L'Oreal Paris Life is a Peach blush here and it's in the shade Peach Addict. I don't know if there's another one. I picked this one out. This is the first one I saw because I really enjoyed the colour. And the colours... Brush just come out? I hate those brushes. Um, this is a, a slightly more pe yeah, peachier orin orange... orange? <laughs> orange tone um which i'm not i don't typically go for i usually go for more like i said more muted pinky like muted pink tone so they look nude um but yeah this one's not usually what i tend to go for but i really enjoy this um it just gives you that kind of it, it i think it depends how hard you go obviously with your brush i don't tend to go too heavy handed with blush um but obviously you do whatever you want um but yeah, I usually go really light handedly with this brush and it kind of, it kind of blends in really nicely with the bronzer. So it kind of gives me that like ombre effect on my cheeks, which I can actually really appreciate. And it smells like peaches. No joke. You know how some products, they smell of like fruit or something and you're just like, that's too much. Like that does not smell nice. But this one's like so subtle, it actually smells really nice. But obviously if you don't like smelly products, and I don't know if you'll like this, but I think it smells nice and I'm usually quite fussy with smelly products, so it's quite nice. Oh, and it's at the drugstore, so that's even better. I don't like to go for really expensive blushes because I'm not a blush girl, like I said, but this is from the drugstore and I think it's bomb, so. I'm doing a lot of face products, but the next product is this LA Girl Pro Conceal, um, like it, it's supposed to be a concealer but I use it for contouring um, and it's in the shade Warm Sand so I use this obviously just to do my cream contour because um, I've been loving cream contouring lately I just love it like you cream contour and then you put your normal powder, uh, powder bronzer on the top and I've really been liking it at the minute so and I've been using this and it's a good colour for me actually Sometimes it's hard. For somebody of my complexion, very pale, um, it's hard to find one that I like. Either looks too, you know, too cool toned and ashy and because I'm pale, I don't want to look cool toned, you know. I still want to look warm, warm toned, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't want to look ill, um, which I think cool tones on me make me look a bit ill. I have been using this religiously and I really, really like it. And it is so cheap. Um, it is about five pounds, I believe. Um, I got mine from Beauty Bay and I believe it was five pounds. Um, so I got a couple shades actually. I got like a concealer shade, a white shade. Cause you never know when you might need a white shade when concealers are just too orange. Um, but yeah, I would recommend this one. 
And my last face product, I know, it's, it's there have been a couple. Um, my last face product is the Kylie Cosmetics a Loose Highlighter. And it's in the shade Santorini. And I'll see if I can show you guys without it going everywhere. But there's kind of what it looks like. Now, obviously I saw it on the website and I was thinking it was going to be a bit dark for me. But it's what I've got on my face at the minute. And as you can see, it does not look glittery. It just looks like a sheen, a shine across my face. Which is exactly what I've been loving. Yeah, it's what I've been loving at the minute. Just just a glow. You know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not kind of into the glitter at the minute. Like, I'm not too picky when it comes to my highlighters. As long as it's obviously my shade of highlighter. But this is a really, really nice shade actually. It's more of like a champagne-y shade. So it's obviously not the lightest, but it's also not dark, and my skin tone can pull it off. As I said, my skin tone is obviously quite pale. So if you're looking for a loose highlighter or any highlighter kind of on the high end that you think that you want to try out, I would definitely recommend this one. I have been loving it. And it's actually quite a big... You get a big tube full. Like, it's not, it's not being stingy. Like, the amount you pay, you're getting a good product. I mean, that's a lot of product. How much is it? four grams so this is four grams of product which i don't think is too bad and obviously it's so fine as well and it where it is just so where it is just so pigmented you don't find yourself using a whole lot to put on your face because obviously i put it on like i put it like pretty much all over my face so i don't want to you know, be using it on my face and it just run out i kind of i don't like seeing highlighters run out um but yeah, I can see this lasting me a while and I don't think this is going to run out anytime soon. So it is slightly higher price from obviously drugstore. I think, I think it was like under £20. I want to say I, I paid under £20 for it, definitely. Maybe like £17 or something like that. It's so hard because obviously it's in dollars and obviously I pay pounds. So it's like trying to do the math. Um... So I'm not I'm not great with with that. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend it. if you feel like you need to do a Kylie Cosmetics shop, a bit of a haul for yourself, pick this baby up. All right. And I know there's other shades there as well that I know like medium, slightly deeper skin tones also enjoy. So keep your eye out for them. Now going on to eye products now. Um, I've not got too many of these, um, but one eye product. In particular, I've really, really enjoyed. Um, and it is the Dose of Colours a Block Party Little Single Eye Shadows. It's in the shade Shall, Shall We Dance? Yeah, Shall We Dance? And just, can you... Like, just... Oh, just look at that. Oh, it's... Like, the camera's honestly not even doing it any justice. I mean, it's like a shimmer shadow, but you can see that it has little twinges of glitter in. Not too glittery that it's kind of overwhelming, especially if you're just getting into makeup, you want to try some things out, but you don't want to go too out of your comfort zone. Um, this is a really nice product. Because I know um, some of them, some of these can be slightly more glittery than others. But this one only has a slight bit of glitter in, which I can appreciate. Um, especially on those days where you're just testing out makeup, you don't want to go. You don't have to go in too crazy. Look at me being a hypocrite. But yeah, if you're just messing around with makeup and you want to try something out, I'd say try one of these. Um, you can get these from Beauty Bay now. Um, Beauty Bay does stock Dose of Colours. How much did I pay for it? I want to say this was around 16, 17 pounds. Now, I know it's a bit, a bit much for one, one shadow, but I think if you were kind of, you had your eye on one of these and you thought, there's a lot of money, I'd just say, just pick up the one. Definitely this, I would recommend definitely this colour. Um, let's see how you like it. If you think, okay, like, I don't really fancy spending that amount of money on a ton of them, 
just get this shadow because this this is a good shadow, like I wouldn't lie. This, this is bomb. Mm -hmm. And last eye product that I have um, is a mascara actually. I'm not a big mascara lover. So yeah, I'm not a massive mascara lover. Um, I never have been really, because I always wear false lashes. I don't pay too much attention to the eyes. Um, but I just found um, that, you know, a couple of days, I was obviously putting my uh, falsies on again and again, and I just my I just I just couldn't be bothered one day, and I just thought and I, I just whack a load of mascara on and hope for the best, see if I look alright. And um, I actually put this one on. This is the Maybelline New York the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. It's just the yellow and purple one here. You can see it. Obviously in the shade black. And I did about two coats of this on both my lashes, and no joke, I didn't even realise my, lash my lashes were that long. I only thought I had little tiny stubby lashes, um, so that's probably why I never thought of bothering with mascaras, because my eyelashes are so short. Um, but yeah, using this, it made my lashes look twice as long. Um, and it actually held them up. My lashes can kind of be a bit bizarre. Some of them want to go up, some of them want to point down, and no matter how many layers of mascara you put on, they don't stay up. They keep, they just do whatever they want to do. Okay, I can't control them, so. But this holds them up. This makes them stay up. Um, obviously without looking too crazy. Um, but yeah, this lengthens them, and this keeps my lashes in place. There's no strays, there's no, you know, random ones, poke me in the eyeball, like, this is good. And it's also from the drugstore, so if you are in the mood to buy a new mascara and you wanna find a new go-to, I'd recommend this one. Now my last products are for the lips, and this is a lip liner that I have really, really been enjoying, and this is the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Bare, just, I mean, me personally, I have quite a few of Kylie's um, lip kits and lip liners, and her lip liners are just so creamy, because um, I know I really don't like wooden ones, just because I feel like it, it scrapes along my lips, and my lips are dry enough as it is, I don't need anything scraping across it, it's just not very satisfying. Um, but these lip liners are so creamy. I mean, if you see that, and then just... Like, that was hardly touching my hand, and that's how much came off. You know, so, if you feel like you've got quite sensitive lips, like, mine usually end up being really dry, and it's just uncomfortable to put lip pencils on when my lips are a bit, a bit dry. Um, but if you have that similar issue, I would definitely pick one of these up. But yeah, I would recommend this shade because I do like it because it's more, it is obviously that nude shade, obviously I tend to go for nudes quite often. Who doesn't like a nude? Um, but this is obviously slightly darker and I tend to like a darker lip liner so that I can put a lighter lipstick or, you know, liquid lipstick, whatever. Um, I, that's what I've been going for at the minute. But yeah, that's what I have been currently loving to do with my lips. And the last product that I have is a Dose of Colours lip gloss. It's currently what I have on today. But yeah, I have been loving this lip gloss. It is the lip gloss from the Alaf Sarai um, collab. And this one is in the shade Barely There. It's obviously the more colour, more pigmented one. The other one's obviously like a, a, a just a shimmery gloss. It doesn't really have colour to it. But this one is so creamy, I can't believe it. Like, it keeps my lipstick in place, surprisingly, for a lip gloss. I always find like my lipsticks kind of wear away, obviously lip gloss does that. But because of the pigment on in this lip gloss, I find that my lipstick lasts actually longer and it's easier to reapply. You don't have to reapply the lipstick and then the lip gloss. You can just put on, just add on the lip gloss again. Um, but yeah, I have been loving this and it's not one of those sticky glosses that 
oh, you just feel like it's layered on top of your lips, you know, it it sinks into all the other lip products and you can feel like, my lips still feel moisture, but they don't feel sticky and it, it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. So that, guys, is everything for now. All those products I have been loving this month. If you have any products that you think I need to try that you have been loving this month, please feel free, you know, do a little comment but yeah guys yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope you really enjoyed this video but until next time guys bye